Now, is that is that a software that you have, or or how how do you um, implement that? Yeah, eventually, I do see it becoming an app. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, I um, have been turned on to just kind of the latest way to organize an online class where um, clients can log in and not only access that worksheet that I'm talking about, but a video companion that goes with it and will walk them through how to choose the details that they're then documenting in the worksheet. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm turning it into an online course that people can um, choose to enroll in. Do you have any advice for homeowners that are preparing to take on a new home build or remodel? I think that success is 100% linked to planning. It's one to one. You know, if you have a, the more solid your plan is, the more peaceful your construction process is going to be. And the more meaningful the bid that you get in the beginning from your contractor is going to be. So um, I do have a checklist that I give away for free. I call it a kitchen and bath design checklist and I have a roadmap that goes with that that shows the process. So um, I do have a link to that on all my websites and um, I give that away as a free download just to get people headed in the right direction so they at least yeah. have the right list of um, different things that they're going to need to choose and think about. And, and, and I'm sure it's a good, you know, starting point for a lot of people. When it comes to design, yes, like you want to be thinking through not only the faucet that goes in your bathroom, but then does the toilet tank lever match the finish on the faucet? You know, does, you know, the little piece of metal at the edge of the tile match that, match that finish or does it match the tile? There's all these little details. But also when it comes to your budget, I think that the biggest reason why budgets are off is because entire categories are missing from the budget. Um, not only because things come in higher, but there's just, you know, gaps. And so I think that that list serves as um, both kind of a shopping list when it comes to choosing your fixtures and finishes, but also um, from all of the larger projects that I've managed, having that list correct on the left side of your budget is a big part of success.